Hello Libra and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse astro tarot reading. We have the lunar eclipse occurring on Friday, November 19th at 3.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone. We also have Venus in Capricorn trining this lunar eclipse. And one of the reasons why I mention this is because Venus rules Taurus as well as the day Friday. Now, if we back it up a couple days to Wednesday, November 17th, we have this Taurus moon conjuncting Uranus. And this can shake things up. Unexpected events, sudden changes. So we're looking at what can suddenly change or shift. And with the lunar eclipse, we're looking at a completion of something, what's being cleared, because we have the shadow of crossing over the moon, which is clearing something and opening up a pathway. And we're also going to see what's left behind so that we understand, have a deeper understanding of how that shift is affecting us personally. Now, Venus in Capricorn trining this moon is really nice. We have this very strong feminine energy that's supporting these changes. Um, and we're looking at what blessings are coming in, what has shifted within. And because Venus in Capricorn, it is about work, but it's also about your work being meaningful, something that you love doing. So Venus might come in and reorganize your priorities to align you with what you love doing. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Libra. This is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you. Okay, we're going to start with these cards. This card we will look at last. That will be our conclusion card for you, Libra. But let's look at the blessing that is being brought into you. And we have number 18, a blessing for good work. So it seems like that Capricorn Venus is really going to come in and reorganize your priorities so that you're working better, so that you're doing good work, work that you enjoy doing. And because we have this earthy energy with Taurus and Capricorn, we're looking at the Earth Magic deck and we have Desert Vision Quest. Okay, this could mean that something very deep and profound is going to shift within you. You are going to have some kind of an experience. This could be something that you plan on doing on going on this vision quest, or it could happen unexpectedly because we do have that Taurus moon conjuncting Uranus, and it's going to shake things up a bit for you. So let's go deeper into your reading with the tarot. This could also mean for some of you Libras that you're going on a vision quest to discover what work you should be doing, what you're aligning to at this time in your life. Okay, we have the King of Swords balancing. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. This is practicing or having more than one project that you're working on, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and we have it here with the Blessing of Good Work. And with this Eight of Pentacles, this is something that you have been doing for a long time. 
This could be something that you come to and work on for a while and then put it down for a while. And then later on, you come back to it kind of like a hobby. This could also be work that you've been doing that's become monotonous and you're tired of doing it because it's so repetitive and there's going to be a change. But one of the things that I like about the Eight of Pentacles is that it is about practicing until you become a master at what you're doing. And here we have the King of Swords, which is bringing in balance. And with this Wheel of Fortune here, there could be a shift in what it is that you're doing. Because again, we have a balance. Perhaps what you have been doing has not been emotionally satisfying. But this, with the Eight of Pentacles, is something that you really do enjoy doing. And you're really good at doing it. And the Wheel of Fortune is going to have this profound shift on your work. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. That's excellent. That's an elevation in your finances. And this is ruled by Capricorn. So this is that Venus energy coming in and re organizing you and that could also be this wheel of fortune where you're kind of thrown off balance on the spin but then you find your balance and you find that you've been upgraded and then here we have the hangman so there is this the standstill this could also be part of your vision quest um, if you think of Odin hanging from the Yggdrasil tree, that was kind of a shaman hanging on the tree. And then he discovered the runes. The runes came to him from source, from spirit. And it became a way to connect with spirit and communicate with spirit. So I see that here with the Queen of Pentacles and this hangman where things have been at a standstill. You are getting reorganized somehow. And this is going to be different for each of you. Uh, for some of you, this could be the corporation or business that you're working for that's getting reorganized or downsized. Or perhaps you find a way to work at home because we do have that eight of pentacles and it's something that you can do at home and at your own pace we also have the fool this is a new beginning something is being reset and for some of you libras you may feel that you have to start all over that what you've been doing has been shifted so much perhaps what you've been doing is outdated or it could be that it's not pleasing to you anymore and the fool goes very nicely with this vision quest on going on an adventure kind of losing yourself in order to find yourself then we have the Emperor. And then we have the Hierophant. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is really lovely energy. With the Emperor, this is organized. So you are going to reorganize your priorities you're going to decide what's right for you. The emperor is ruled by Aries, so it's about the self. What are you doing to make yourself happy? Because when you're happy, those that are around you are probably going to be a little bit happier too. And with this hierophant, it could have something to do with spiritual work, especially with this vision quest and the hangman that we have here. You are looking for something new 
or perhaps going back to something that you used to do, but you're taking on a new approach with the, the fool. But this is a highly spiritually evolved energy right here. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. The work that you're going to do is going to be financially satisfying for you as well as spiritually satisfying for you. The Ten of Pentacles is also related to family, your ancestors. So this could be something that was a family business or is a family business. We also, with the Eight of Pentacles, this initiation, this learning, this apprenticeship with the Eight of Pentacles, and then suddenly you are elevated. And it could be that you are being given greater responsibilities. Perhaps you are being put in charge of the business with this Emperor card. But we also have this Hierophant. This could also have something to do with your dreams, something from your subconscious mind wanting to emerge into your conscious mind with the Hierophant and the Hangman both. You are going in deep, deep within yourself. And you are going to rediscover something about yourself and it is going to be let's get our cards back in order here so yeah you're going to really go through this reorganization but you're being guided by your vision quest you're being guided by by your spirit guides by that urging that your instinct whatever it is that moves you and motivates you so now let's look at your moon magic cards because as the moon goes through the eclipse it's going to go through each of the phases of the moon during that time and there might be a specific time that's going to be more powerful for you Okay, that, this card got left behind, so I feel like that we should look at this card first. And this is the dark moon. I let go, I release, I am within perfect possibility. So when the moon is in complete darkness, there is going to be this shift. It's like the slate is being cleared for you and you are going to have this new beginning. And then let's look at this card that also was up. This is the super moon. I am magnetic to what I want. I repel what I do not want. And this can be confusing because when you're manifesting your own reality, sometimes when you think about the things that you don't want, that's what comes into your life because that's what you're thinking about and you're a magnet to that. So maybe part of this shift is shifting the way that you perceive and think so that you can manifest that which you desire and repel that which you don't want. So that will clear your path. That is letting go. That is that release with the dark moon. And because we do have this lovely goddess energy with Venus and the moon, let's see what blessing they are bringing to you, Libra. And we have a Tar Goddess. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but... You are mighty and deep, and within you lies so much potential. A Syrian Artar goddess blesses you now with knowledge of your rich interior life. Explore who you are and who you can become. Become limitless. Well, this is just confirmation to this vision quest, 
to releasing and letting go and attracting that which you want to bring to you and knowing that you are open to all these possibilities. You have this deep knowledge with the hangman, the hierophant, and the emperor. And you are exploring. The fool is exploring who you are and is limitless. So that's very nice. I think that's a nice goddess blessing for you, Libra. Now let's look at this last card. Here's your artwork. And it is, all is possible when your heartfelt vision is in alignment with your values. That's this right here, the emperor and the hierophant. You want your values to be in alignment with your vision, your vision quest. Believe in your dream, love it, breathe it, and let it fill your thoughts. But you must take action also. Work towards it a little each day. And right here we have that Eight of Pentacles. Working a little bit at it each day until it becomes your primary action. Dreams are first envisaged, but then they must be built. You will succeed if you work at it. And here you have a blessing for good work. Well, I think that is a really nice positive confirmation on your reading. I know that you're going through these shifts and some of these shifts may not be easy, but once you get rebalanced, Libra, and this King of Swords is ruled by Libra. So this is you wanting things to be balanced, equal, and fair. And that is what you are striving for in your life's work. Okay, Libra, I am going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful and beneficial. And until next time, take care.